today on a blind date love test. We butt heads all the time. Yeah, she likes to, to turn on and off, which is the bitch side of her. Their sweet romance has started to sour. You know, should we just call it quits? So we're sending them both out on blind dates. Not bad. Not bad, thanks. We can use some practice. After getting a taste of something different. You gotta, you gotta leave with me. <laughs> will they want each other back? How about you, Bubba? Would you mind doing it again or what? It all begins now. We were freaking experiments gone wrong. On a blind date love test. Everybody, I'm Roger Lodge, and coming up on today's show, we've got something a little bit different for you. We call it the blind date love test. Here's the deal. We're going to take a couple whose relationship has hit a rough spot, and we're going to give them a chance to play the field by dating other people. And at the end of the show, we'll see if they want to remain a couple or if they want to call it quits. And our couple on the rocks is Bubba and Shannon, who claim their relationship is just treading water. Bubba says Shannon's too high maintenance. Shannon says that Bubba doesn't give her enough attention. But wait, there's more. We're a lot alike, which has been one of our big problems. Like we butt heads all the time. On the other side, she has another personality that she oh. likes to, to turn on <laughs> and off, which is the bitch side of her where I'm sitting like, where did that come from type attitude. I get jealous because I see the women that he's attracted to who I don't think are half the package that I am. Threatens me <laughs> and tries to uh, tell me that there's other fish in the, in the ocean. <laughs> and we're both just kind of figuring out, you know, who's going to change? Are we going to, you know, is there even going to be any change? Or, you know, should we just call it quits? Well, that's what the blind date love test is all about. So we're gonna set Shannon up with Nick. He's an ex-military man who says he likes aggressive women because they're more of a challenge. Meanwhile, Bubba will be going out with Erica. Now, Erica says that she loves to flirt with rugged, masculine kind of guy. All right, will our trouble couple be closing the door on one relationship and opening another? Well, we're about to find out, because it's showtime. I already said that. See, I took my notes. I know. Did you? You yeah, know my name yeah. already? Okay. Yeah, I know a little good, something. Good, no, I'm fine. Two points for you. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Hi, I'm Shannon. <laughs> How you doing? Cool, ready? All right, let's go. Like you like soccer? soccer? I played soccer since I was five. Played uh, Olympic development, full scholarships everywhere. I played with Mexico. I played in Europe, Denmark, Germany, Sweden. Um, I've always like really wanted to learn how to kickbox. Um, how to kickbox? How to kick. Dang girl. To this day, I still have. Beating learned people up or what? I just think it'd be dope because you know you never know when it might come in handy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Um, what do you want to know? Any and everything. <laughs> how was it? How... Be specific. All right, how were, what kind of student? Were you a good student growing up? Did you have a lot of friends? You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty outgoing person. Yeah. Kind of get along with everyone, unless you don't like me. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a problem. Enemies. I own Rapid Dating. 
And so today, you guys are going to go on like a mini rapid date, and we are going to be firing questions. I'm going to be firing questions okay. at you. <laughs> Do either one of you have what I call a passenger still remaining in your vehicle? Which means that you got somebody else that's hanging on and you're trying to date to get over it. Do either one of you have that? Mm. No. No? No. Okay. So you're both single? Yeah. Try to appreciate what it is that you're feeling. Don't just go over something like it's a slab of meat. But really try to appreciate the fact that it's a live person you down got, there. You got some terminology there. If you're doing something that feels good to you, it's gonna feel good to her. Hopefully I'm doing good for the first try. Not bad. Not bad, thanks. You can use some practice. Oh, some tough, <laughs> tough credit. All right, so it's okay. There's room for both of you. All right, now this is a biggie. Sex. Are you one of those, I gotta wait until I know he's committed? It's not so much the commitment, it's so much, do you even deserve it? You know what I mean? It's, it's too much, it's too much to just give freely. It's just too much to just toss around like they're giveaways, you know what I mean? Is sex a big issue for you? Like when you first date or something, do you have to have sex um, right away or what? What's the deal? For me, it's kind of like, if it happens, it happens. You know, you just feel what they're trying to go on, and that's that's how you, you know, that's how you go. Or at least that, that's that's my playbook. So you respect what the woman is yeah. wanting. Okay, now. So what's the worst date you've ever been on? Worst date I've ever been on? Um, well, I went out with a girl this one time, and like halfway through the date, I found out she had a husband. Oh, okay. That, uh... That kind of killed it there. Not the not the best thing you want to hear. When wow. you try when you're... Yeah, that'll kill it right there. Yeah, there you go. Hey, the man wanted to test his relationship. I'd say Erica's helping him shake things up pretty good. All right, when we come back, Nick will try to light a fire under the very bored Shannon. I'd say he has his work cut out for him on our special blind date love test. Stick around. Up next. You seem like a really nice guy, and like somebody I can have a friendship. You know, long Our love test daters lay it on the line. I've actually been in a relationship for the past four years. Excuse me, my eyes a little teary. That's a bombshell. The love test continues next. Just a hunch, but I'd say Bubba's enjoying his date with Erica. Meanwhile, Shannon appears to be ready for a nap. So why don't we get back to our special blind date love test and see what develops. Just walk in. What's your perception? I think you're a really nice guy. I don't know, I guess, I guess maybe I've just been traumatized. Maybe I've been... Jaded. Jaded, maybe I've been, whatever you want to call it. I'm just not even trying to deal with any of it right now. And, and you seem like a really nice guy, and you seem like somebody I can have a friendship, you know, a long-lasting friendship with. You are really hard to read, you know that? I can't tell, like, if you're enjoying yourself, if you're not, if, basically, if you're, if you're feeling me, or if you're not. 
can't tell me. No feelings that so you want to. So do you think I am, or do you think I I'm I don't not? know. Most guys, I don't know. I guess they try. They try pretty hard, you know. They, they're charming. I guess that's the best way to put it. Just charming. being charmed. Mm. So have you been charmed? So have you been charmed yet? Um, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Ouch. Like, take the example, going fishing. You can go look at the, you know, you can go look at the lake or go look in the, in the ocean and look at it, look at all the fish come by, you can throw your pole in and see what you catch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you don't be aggressive, sometimes you let stuff go by. Because <clears throat> what I'm translating from you is, you already tried it and you're like, ah, I quit. This is my current situation right now. Um, I've actually been in a relationship for past four years. But we're still trying to figure out like whether or not we're gonna stick with each other or we're gonna move on. So I do still see him and he's still I still consider him like my boyfriend. Excuse me, I oh, a little teary. That's a bombshell. I I don't wanna get hurt anymore and I don't wanna get you know, disappointed anymore. We can be cool friends, and if you can maintain that friendship. Just kind of figure out, you know, should we stay together, or is there something else out there that's... Which way do you think you're leaning towards? Or I do you know. know? I really don't know yet. I told you I'm kind of undecisive and kind of like, I don't know. Let's see. Days I'm not really concentrated on women right now. It's like winning, hitting my goals and so forth. But if somebody comes on and they could be on the team and they're cool and they got, you know, good understandings like you were talking about earlier, hey, let's kick it, let's not, that type of stuff. I'm busy, I'll make time, let's, let's do something, it works out. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the rundown. So it's not like you're talking to a, somebody that don't know what he's doing, that's stuff good. like that, you know? That's good. Okay, is that yeah. cool? <laughs> Close to me, huh? All right. Ouch. To be honest, I'm not physically attracted to you at all. Ouch. Oh no, things are starting to heat up between Bubba and Erica, but Shannon and Nick are about to show up at the same restaurant. What are the odds? Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Like somebody I can have a friendship, you know, long as the friendship with. To be honest, I'm not physically attracted to you at all. Ouch. And for those of you scoring at home, Bubba and Erica are really starting to connect, while Shannon and Nick are just a complete and utter disaster. The oh. <laughs> boy. The of it. Oh, hello. What's up? Happy to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, oh, nice to see you all. So, man, quite interesting. <laughs> all right. Well, um, Nick, I'd like to introduce you to my boyfriend, Bubba. <gasps> I don't want to get 
hurt anymore. So we was on the show basically to find out, you know, if we want to still talk with each other or if there's other people to go ahead and oh, talk see, to. We, right see, we read that people, huh? So, <laughs> so, uh, Really good time with Bubba, and I wouldn't mind doing it again. So. <laughs> you don't gotta lie. <laughs> no, I'm not at all. So what about y'all? What what happened? You guys are cool. No, I'm just trying to figure her out. It's just definitely um, I was skating uphill in a rainstorm. I mean, you're not. I'm just not feeling you. Honestly, just not feeling you at all. Like, I need a guy who's been there, done that, who's ready to take me right behind him. Yeah, that's right. The man. Yeah. That's it. How about you, Bubba? Or would you mind do, doing it again? I don't know, like earlier what? you were saying, hey, it's up to such, and you was all right with it. And, Stop beating around and, and, the bush. You, what are you You don't mind. Say, Bubba? You said, now let me rephrase this. I wouldn't mind trying to holler, you know, holler at you and seeing how we could work things in. Friends, cool, homie lover friends, however. Shannon also, you know, it's up, it's up to you guys. Try to holler. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what? This is your call to make. This is definitely. I told you, I already said my thing. Because I'm not trying to be the homework or anything. You guys are happy together. You guys are happy together. All right, so we're going to go home. So for this evening, like I was saying before, I'm trying to see what you're about. If you want to kick it, what's going on? So you gotta, you gotta leave with me, okay? So we gotta. Let's go. Would you like to? Would you like to leave? Know each other a little more? Not really. No. Ouch. I'm One thing I can do is I can leave. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. That was a little harsh. Huh? Yes, you was. I had a reason. Thank you. Good day. You too. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'd like to invite you in. Would you like to come in? Wow. Well, we'll a little bit. A little bit. Let's go. Yeah. That's right. The man. Wow, looks like Bubba's got big plans for Erica. But what about Shannon, his girlfriend of the last four years? Remember her? We'll get to the dramatic conclusion on today's blind date love test next. You are the guy. You're up on stage. So we gave Shannon and Bubba a taste of what else is out there. And it seemed like Bubba was doing all the tasting. But now it's the moment of truth, folks. Will Shannon and Bubba stay together? Or will Bubba continue tasting? Let's find out. Basically this evening and on my date, I was in control of the full situation with both hands, my girlfriend and the new, the new girl, Erica. I do not believe that Bubba and that girl have anything going on. Right now, you know, meeting Erica and having Aunt Shannon as my girl, I'm trying to work basically, you know, the best of both worlds. I'm trying to keep every, you know, my cake and eat it too type of situation. Right now, I know if I called Bubba on his cell phone, he would answer his phone and drop that girl and come right to me. I'm already getting about 20 phone calls on the cell phones. So there's gonna be a lot of explanations. I'm gonna have to smooth things over and see how I can make everything work out. Bubba, I'm sure you're having a really good time tonight, but I know when I call you tomorrow, you'll be coming right back to me. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep both of them on my team. I'll say this about Bubba, the man's got cojones. We wish him, Shannon, and Erica the best of luck. All right, that'll do it for our blind date love test. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Roger Lodge, and I'll see you next time.